T and E Magazine. Do it. T and E Magazine. Hey, T and E Magazine. We're here down at the Hollenbach Center giving out presents to kids. Thank you, T and E Magazine. Just give me the microphone. You guys are great out there. Listen, share it with your friends. We need people reading this magazine. It's my favorite magazine. I no longer Newsweek, all these other magazines. No way. We want what's new, what's fresh. We want today's news, not yesterday's news. Shout out to TNE Magazine. Thank yes. you guys so much. Yes. This is Donovan Carter. Shout out to TNE and happy holidays, everybody. TD, TD, it's Matt Eisman here. I am the Celebrity Apprentice with the Terminator right here. And we just want to say Merry Christmas. Hi, this is Jessica Lau with t &E Magazine. I'm reporting live in Los Angeles, California at the Miracle on First Street event. I'm here with... Arnold Schwarzenegger, also known as the Terminator. Or the governator. Yes, the governator. Exactly. You're excited to be here. Yeah, it's awesome. So, uh, with that, why specifically would you choose to have this event here? Well, um, I've had a relationship with this place here for more than 25 years uh, because I started the after school programs with Danny Hernandez and with the Hollenberg Youth Center to uh, help kids with programs after they get out of school, with computer programs, sports programs, arts programs, and so on, and to be, there, be in a safe place like this center here, rather than drifting around on the streets. And ever since then, I've been coming here to uh, hand out turkeys. You know, we have, given, we have donated all the turkeys for the families in this area. We have uh, donated toys now for the toy drive here. Uh, I just love coming out here. It's uh, one of my many ways of giving something back to the community. I happen to be very fortunate that I have money, that I've been successful, but I also know that uh, in America there's a lot of people that are not as fortunate and we got to help them. I got a lot of help when I came to this country in the beginning when I had nothing and now it is my turn to give something back and to help them. So that I want every family to have toys for their kids. You know what I'm saying? This is the least thing that they should have. So everyone has a big smile on Christmas Day. That's why I'm here. That's an extraordinary, wonderful thing you're doing with, doing to those um, kids who are unfortunate and giving back to the community. Right. So how many years have you been doing this event? I've been doing this now for more than 25 years. Um, yeah, so we started in uh, early, I think 1990 we started, probably around that time. And, uh, you know, I was very lucky to meet Danny Hernandez, who uh, is a great hero and who has spent his whole life uh, serving people and not serving himself and uh, so I learned from him and so that's what I do. What influenced you to uh, do these events? Arnold, this is uh, I think my third or fourth time here so I became great friends with Arnold and this was such an amazing charity and, and such an amazing group of people and community that he invited me to come down and after I saw the, the magic that's created in the the, the glow in the children's eyes when you give them toys. I mean, I, I, I'll be here for life. Anytime Arnold calls me to come and help him out, I, I'm here. It's so wonderful that you're helping out with the community. So what's your wish for the children across the country? Oh, well, what's my wish for the children here? Well, I think Arnold is fulfilling that wish, which is that every child should experience getting a gift on Christmas. And, and that's why we're all here. Well, look at this. We're the cast of Magic Mike 3. Interview him now. Do it. So Ask I will tell you, question. this Ask man question. brought me on Celebrity Apprentice. This is a man of many gifts. But the thing I learned from him is he doesn't take. He takes his gifts and he gives back. And I've never seen a man so charitable. And the lessons I've learned for him are for those of us who've been given an opportunity, it's to give it back twice. And so that's what I've learned from this man. That's why I consider you, him man. my boss. Thank you. Now she has a question. All right, what's she your question? question? Oh, yeah. So, so what makes you uh, be a part of this event? Well, he called first of all, but the other thing is I know the joy I get on Christmas of opening a toy and, and feeling like a kid. And for a lot of these children, they may not have the opportunity to do that. And to be here with so many people donating their time and energy and to give these kids the joy of Christmas a little bit early, it makes us feel great. Wait a minute. Continue rolling, okay? okay. <laughs> Do it. Wait a minute. Here is Spencer. Spencer, come on hey. in here. She's hey. interviewing you now. Okay, Ask all right. the I'm question saying, now. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>
<laughs> do it. What are you waiting for? Do it. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Do it. Russia's on. All right. So, so what? Um, so what made you influence? Uh, what's your influence? A part of this event. Well, you know, uh, I just actually moved to the moved to the area, and uh, I was invited by a good friend of mine. And I heard it was a good cause to help out, you know, people who are less fortunate and to give goods and spread the Christmas spirit. And so obviously it was a no-brainer. And so, yeah, I would show up, no problem. What's your Christmas wish for this my, year? My Christmas wish is that everyone else uh, around me, you know, has a good Christmas. And then we're all filled with the Christmas spirit and just have a good time. So that's really it. That's an awesome wish. And thank you so much for having you guys here interview. And here's Ralphie. Ralphie, come here. Get in here, man. Ask him the question. Okay. Yeah, come around and say here. Merry don't, Christmas. Don't talk Merry yet. Christmas. Don't talk yet. Okay. Just wait. She's asking yeah. a question. Ask the question okay, now. Okay, yes. So, what is your influence to uh, be a part of Miracle on First Street this year? Yeah, why are you doing this here? Because I want also that the ones who has not that kind of money and family sometimes to buy gifts, so to give it to them and to have a nice Christmas days and uh, that makes us all feeling great also to give something to the community, to the kids here and see their eyes, you know, the smile. It is the best thing you can do. And show you your bicep, Ralphie. Yes. Come on, uh, what, what is this. it you have here? Hold on here. a second. Yeah. Ralphie showing his bicep All right, now. he's going to show us our, the bicep. Show the bicep. <laughs> show the bicep. Oh, looking great. Show him from the front. Amazing. Look at this. Look at this bicep. You see yeah. that? That is that unbelievable. Is okay, now we have to lock you up yeah. again. Come on. Shut up. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Get that TNA magazine. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Tom Arnold. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, I'm a famous actor. And I'm here at the Miracle on First Street. It's an event Arnold Schwarzenegger that I have done for over 20 years. Uh, Danny Hernandez started this event. We work with the, the police station and the military folks show up and give 10,000 gifts to kids that perhaps wouldn't get a gift this year for Christmas and it's a wonderful thing bringing the community together and, and all the families here and we love doing it. Sounds like a wonderful thing you're doing and I'm, we're all really happy to be here. Well thank you. I'm happy that you're here. What's your name? I'm Jessica. Hi Jessica. Hi. Uh, yes. Anyway, it's a, it's a wonderful thing and, 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 and this time of year you look for wonderful things because the world is not always wonderful and this is one of the best things ever and for these kids to light up and this may be the only gift they get so any any small part i can play in that is great and we also arnold and i and our buddies we had a, we have a good time here and uh, we always have it it's chaos but it's good chaos and the community really steps up for these people why do you, why do you choose to do this every year um, well i choose to do this every year you know uh, i moved here 30 years ago from, from the midwest and arnold schwarzenegger is one of the first people that i met and i worked with and I, I, he's been a, you know, a mentor to me as far as a, a public service and things like that. He's a buddy of mine. I like to make fun of him, but, you know, the importance of being of service to, to people. And, you know, I've, I've grabbed onto a few of, the, of his things, and this is one of them. And I just love This one is close to my heart. I've done it when Arnold wasn't here. And I've seen uh, Priscilla and <laughs> go from a little baby to, to running this thing. So there, it's, it's very, it's personal to me also as it is to Arnold, so I just, I just love doing it. I just think that because, you know, uh, you know, I grew up in a, I didn't grow up in Hollywood, I grew up in a small town in Iowa, and, you know, I, I, I relate to these kids, you know, I, you know, we didn't always get, you know, I had a single father, and, you know, times were tough, and I remember the holidays, and, and being a kid, and just hoping that Santa would bring me something, and, and uh, getting one thing and being super excited about it and just to see the joy of these kids' faces and also the community working on this during the year, the back and forth and people getting excited, all these sponsors just step up and, and do these wonderful things, these banks and, and different people and to see the city council. Anyway, it's about the kids. We all, one thing in America we can agree on is every kid deserves to have Christmas gifts, health care, be safe, and have food and be loved and shelter. We, we all should start right there and then we'll figure out the rest. Thank you. Donovan Carter. Nice to meet you, Donovan. Uh, what, is, what is it you do at this event? I'm an actor. I'm currently on HBO Ballers. Uh, 
it's with Dwayne and the Rock Johnson, and it comes out summertime. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's that's a really good thing to have. <laughs> and uh, what is it? Um, what influenced you to be a part of Miracle First Street? I always like to do my best to give back. Um, they say you got to give to receive. So this is a beautiful thing. You know, I always believe on Christmas you should have at least one gift to open. So it's just a blessing to come here and just help out. Absolutely. And that's. Uh, and thank you for doing this for the uh, children that are underserved in the community. So how many years have you been doing this? Uh, it's event? actually my first year. So it's been a good, good experience and I'll definitely be back. So, uh, what is your specific wish to children across the country? I just wish for them to uh, just go out to your dreams, you know. You can do anything you want in this world, I feel like, if you just believe and put your mind to it. And I um, mean, it's just a love, always love and treat people how you want to be treated. Wonderful, wonderful. And uh, how do you think this event will impact the community around Los Angeles? I think, I think it will impact it a lot. I mean. Holidays is always a good time, and everybody always so joyous and happy. So hopefully uh, they have a good time today, and uh, look forward to next year. Rick Ridley. Nice to meet you. And what is it you do at this event? Well, being involved with Big Five Sporting Goods for the last 32 years of my life, the last 22 have been spent here at Hollenbeck. Among other things, the marketing department here is very evident with all the toys we bring and joy to the kids. That's wonderful. And what is your wish for children across the country this year? That they find peace and happiness during this holiday period and throughout the new year. That's wonderful. And uh, what? Uh, how do you th feel this event will impact the community in Los Angeles? Well, I think it's a great example for Los Angeles and the rest of the country on how the police, community, uh, the families, the children, all work together to create what we're seeing here today. People that haven't been here can't believe what kind of togetherness they see and what it actually takes to be successful. That's incredible and wonderful to hear that you guys are giving back to the community. And uh, do you have any holiday plans? Well, we've always got holiday plans as far as the company. We have plenty of sales and everything going on in our stores. However, what you mentioned about the importance of giving back is so true. I'm uh, very fortunate to work with a company that has long, long ago recognized the importance of keeping the communities healthy where we have stores. And that's what it's all about. Hi, I'm Jessica Lau with t &E Magazine. I'm reporting live at Los Angeles, California at the Miracle of First Street events. And I'm here with... Miranda Moreau. Nice to meet you, Miranda. Nice to meet you, too. So what will you be doing at this event? So at this Christmas event, it's a charity event where they're giving kids uh, toys to the kids. And every five years, I've been, for five years now, I've been actually singing here, um, giving my time to these children here. And I love performing and making sure these kids are able to dance with me. So I come and perform. I bring the kids up with me. I make them sing along with me. And I also have another show outside, which I make sure everyone else gets to see what they don't get to see inside. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. I love coming here. And I thank everyone for having me here, you know? We are uh, happy to see you here, and, and you're looking fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, ask her about uh, the charities that uh, a little bit more about the charities. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so uh, what other charities would be here today? Oh my God, every year it's always different. I really don't know. I know it goes from like everyone famous from Tom Arnold, Arnold Schwarzenegger to like everyone donating their little th little time just around the community and there's a lot of toys here for everyone to get so I hope everyone gets something today. I'm here with Dylan Lakin. Nice to meet you Dylan. Uh, uh, what are you the champion of? I am the champion of the North American uh, Junior uh, Equestrian League. That's amazing and um, uh, what influenced you to be a part of this event specifically? Um, just everything. This is an amazing event. I've been doing this two years. Uh, my mom's done this forever and I've always helped her. 
and it's going great. Yeah, that's wonderful. And since you're the champion, uh, what is your message to give to the kids uh, this holiday? Keep trying. Everything can be possible. A anything you want to do, you can achieve. With? I'm Giovanni. I'm one of the chairpersons of Hollenbeck Youth Center. This is our 20 or 36th year of uh, passing out toys. So we like to say thank you for coming out. And if you're following this magazine and you're reading it, you're at the right spot. Don't go any other spot. You know why? They're on top of what's happening in the United States. Kids out there need toys. We're providing it, and you guys are sharing it. This way we can do more great stuff. You do a great job. I love what you're doing. Uh, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And how many years have you been doing this? I've been doing it for 25 years myself. The organization has been founded by uh, Danny Hernandez and the Danny, Her Danny Hernandez family. And uh, also the Inner City Games. What's unique about this, this is the Hope Youth Center. It's tied to LAPD. But the Inner City Games, which is um, the executive chairperson, Arnold Schwarzenegger, they've been doing it since the LA riots. And it's uh, in 17 cities across the United States. It was founded here. So right now, all over the United States, on those cities, this same event is happening over and over. So next year, you're, you guys are going to be lucky. You're going to go all around the United States and see what's happening. You, it's just so so grateful. Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's humble, but he does, honest to God, this guy, in the time, the 30 years I've been in Hollywood, I've never met somebody that was so kind and generous of his time and his massive, massive wealth that Arnold Schwarzenegger. Anyway, Hollenbeck Police Division, LAPD, we know we love these guys. These, how awesome, look at them back there, huddled up, not paying attention to me. They're, <laughs> they're awesome. I mean, this thing just gives me a good feeling. You can see the community and the police together. Am I right? Always, every year. at Santa, and I'm a Jew, and I love it, okay? Uh, okay, Supervisor Hilda Solis, I just gave her some love. She came up here. She gave another thing to Danny, which I'm sure he has a hundred of them. <laughs> Arnold said that Danny has a certificate for getting the most certificates. <laughs> Uh, that there, that there is uh, Ralph Mueller. He was the Arnold Schwarzenegger jury. That's a fact. He was a famous bodybuilding actor. He is right now. He's been a longtime friend of Arnold. Supported everything we've ever been involved with. He's a great man, and he looks great in a in a gold uh, speedo at Arnold's house, oiled up. And that there is uh, Joe Mangelina, and uh, he he's a uh, Joe, what is it, Mangria? What is it? Manganello. Yes, Manganello. Okay. And, uh, and, and uh, he supported us year after year. He's a, a, a friend of Arnold. He's a great actor, as you guys know. He's a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. He's a great man, and he supports us, and we love him. And he's, playing, he's buddies with Arnold, too. And that's Arnold Schwarzenegger. He'll talk about himself a lot when he gets up here. You know him. He's, he's the best. Uh, that guy back there, his name is Spencer. He's a hero. There was a, uh, some terrorists trying to take over a train in France, am I right? And that was one of the Americans that took them down. He took them down. They had a box cutter to his head. He took them down. He represents our country, our military, everything great about America. He's a brave man. In fact, he just finished a movie about it. So he did. He was in a, a dangerous situation. He handled it. And by the way, I was married to Roseanne for four years, so I know what he's going through. Anyway, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. And now we love everyone. Thank you, sir. Good morning. How is everyone? Merry Christmas. Just for the records, there is no Doug being shot today, okay? Please, let's clear that up today. I, I want to thank uh, Daddy and, and all the VIPs, uh, Arnold and, and everybody, really, for having us here. Our service to, to this community really cannot be done alone. But we're, we're only a small equation of what occurs in this community, and we can't do it without the public, with partners such as Danny, the Hollenbeck Youth Center, and many other partners. 
such as uh, the ones that exist in this community. Thank you very much for your partnership. We look forward to a great 2018 and better things. Muchísimas gracias a la comunidad. Es un placer estar aquí con ustedes. Y no podemos hacerlo sola. Es una, es una asistencia que necesitamos de todos ustedes. Y es un deseo de continuar esa eh, comunicación y la, este, siendo compañeros en, la, en asistiendo a nuestra comunidad. Que los, Dios, Dios los bendiga y Merry Christmas. Show where the, the athletes run up on walls and stuff. He's a great guy. He truly is a great man. Great man of worlds. And, uh, and that's uh, the Jewish Santa Claus. And uh, back here, these two young ladies, I bet they're wonderful. Yes. Is that, is that their name? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's, oh, the radio show, my guy. And this guy here. Uh, oh yeah, from HBO. What's your full name? Oh yeah, yeah, Tom Carter. Uh, uh, and somebody, I thought it was Donald McDab when somebody first came out there. They came up behind me. And uh, and Donald McDab's put on a lot of weight since his play day, so don't be a bit of Anyway, okay. We also want to recognize the tremendous contributions from the business community. And it is a great honor to present this commendation to Big Five Sporting Goods, who always provide support. So here you go. On behalf of the County Board of Supervisors and the 10 million people we represent, you're welcome. Just stand here in line. One more. One more. And outstanding work for the 36 years of continuing to make people smile on this particular day, Holland Beck Youth Center. Got it, he nailed it. <laughs> we want to start off by saying happy Christmas to everybody. A very merry and happy Christmas. Because we know that after this new year, we are going to have the best year of our lives. Is that right? Yeah. And we couldn't kick it off right if we didn't have Arnold Schwarzenegger here. Come on. Arnold, 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 Arnold. I'm not sure if it was the Terminator or Total Recall. Which one of those, right? And obviously Daniel, who's done a dynamic job of putting this together every year, and Priscilla, and all the folks who stand here behind us, and our law enforcement, our police officers, who are here every single day in our communities to approve it. Once again, my name is Miguel Santiago. Merry Christmas to everybody here. Feliz Navidad. Que tengan un muy buen próspero año nuevo. Este año va a ser el mejor, el mejor que vamos a tener en nuestra vida. Y es el mejor porque lo vamos a empezar con salud, con todo el amor que tenemos para nuestras familias. Y sabemos que cada uno de estos niños va a ser el futuro de nuestras comunidades. Y para todos los padres que se comprometan, que cada mañana les va a decir que son lo mejor que ha pasado en su vida. Van a la universidad y van a ser nuestros líderes de mañana. Muchas gracias. Dios los bendiga. Wow, good energy for that guy. Huh? Yes. Uh, this year's miracle of first street is dedicated to all those affected this year by natural disaster and or tragedy. There's a lot of them, including here in California, as we know. The uh, 2017 Miracle Committee decided to start uh, uh, to start ever 2017 Miracle event, every Miracle event with a moment of silence, and and for the toy giveaway, we've released a dozen doves in memory of American victims, which we did outside, right, with your son. This uh, this ceremony takes place just before the parade. Yes, it did take place. And it was great. And then we released the doves, and then people shot them. No, I'm kidding. It was great. It was great. No, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm from Iowa. It's dove season. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm from Iowa. Okay, the sponsors. Here's the thing. Our sponsors are so loyal. They do so much for people, you know. I only have one sponsor because I'm an alcoholic. But we have a lot of sponsors here, okay? He is a great, great actor, great, great friend. 
great bodybuilder, really, really fit guy, and also very, very generous always. Every time I ask him, I called him just a few days ago, I said, can you come to the Hollenbeck Center and help us hand out some gifts? And he immediately said yes, didn't hesitate one second. So thank you very much for your generosity also. <laughs> then I want to say thank you to Ralph Muller, my friend over here who is uh, Mr. Universe 1986, uh, and also actor, was one of the stars of uh, the Gladiator movie and Beer Fest and many, many other movies in Germany and in America. So we want to say thank you to him also for coming out here and getting away from his uh, lifting and pumping arm and handing out some gifts. And of course, my very good friend from Celebrity Apprentice, Matt Eisman, the winner, who is back here. Come on out here, Matt. Come on out. Don't hide that back right there. Yeah, Matt is a fantastic guy. Great, great actor also, reality TV star, and a very, very generous guy on top of that. So thank you very much. No, no kissing. No kissing. No, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't call it that. But no kissing here in state. Okay, Matt. Okay, so anyway, and I want to say also thank you to law enforcement. One of the great things about the Hollenbeck Center is that there's such a great partnership with law enforcement. And this is what makes this place run so well. So we want to say thank you to law enforcement for risking their lives every day, every single day. These men and women leave their home in the morning and no one knows if they ever will come back. I mean, think about that every day. So this is how courageous they are. They serve the community so well. So to, to me, they are the greatest stars of all. So thank you very much for your great contribution and for being here today. And I want to say thank you to all of you. We love you. So always when Danny calls me or when uh, Priscilla calls me and says, Arnold, can you donate some gifts for our kids and for our people here in the community? I immediately say yes. It is fun to do that because I have such fond memories. When I was in Austria celebrating Christmas, I got a few gifts as a kid every single year. And I want to make sure that everyone has a, a right of getting some gifts every single year. So kids, stand in line, get ready, because we're going to have some great, great gifts here, OK? Thank you very much. Thank you.
accept this toy, I give you ten dollars, okay? Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I need you guys to advertise in that magazine. Share with your friends on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. This is what's happening, kids. It's the young generation making America great again. Get the word out. We want to help the inner city kids all over the United States. And I'm here with the editor-in-chief of t &E Magazine. Hey, everybody. I just wanted to take the time out and thank everyone for listening to today's interview with Jessica. She did a fantastic job representing our cultural department. If you're an advertiser and you want to give back to events and sponsor wonderful activities like today's event, feel free to reach out to us on readtnmag.com because we want you to give back to the children the way these wonderful celebrities and all the people in this community have been able to give back. So until next time, guys, keep reading TNE Magazine. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Sing down.